Today, we'll be telling you about the female humanoid robots that we'll be seeing soon in 2023. The world of technology keeps on evolving, and we'll soon see robots that are out there in our daily life. For 2023, there are many amazing robots that'll soon be launched. Sophia, $120,000. Sophia, the most advanced robot that looks like a person ever made by Hanson Robotics, is a personification of our hopes and expectations for the future of artificial intelligence. Sophia is both a character from science fiction that humans made to show the future of AI and robots and a platform for advanced research into AI and robots. Sophia is a one-of-a-kind creation because of how well science, engineering, and art work together. People from all over the world can't stop thinking about the character of Sophia. She's the world's first robot citizen and the first robot to be given the job of Innovation Ambassador by the United Nations Development Program. Sophia is a well-known person because she's been on shows like The Tonight Show and Good Morning Britain and has spoken at hundreds of conferences all over the world. Sophia is also a framework for cutting-edge research in the fields of artificial intelligence and robotics, especially for learning about how humans and robots interact and how they can be used in the service and entertainment industries. As part of the Loving AI project, for example, she's been used for research. The goal of this project is to learn how robots can change to meet the needs of their users through both internal and external development. It's highly expected that we'll see Sophia launched this year. Bimini 1.0, $67,000. People control Bimini with the help of a brain made by artificial intelligence. When it gets big enough and is used for business, this platform will switch from having a human pilot to being completely self-driven. Bimini has an AI brain that can change over time, which means it can do an infinite number of different jobs. It's the most advanced humanoid robot in the world, and it's controlled by humans with the help of an artificial intelligence brain. This robot is designed to be used in a business setting. It comes with a platform that can be switched from human control to full autonomy at the user's choice. It's a robotic system that can be used for many different things and lets you do high-quality work from anywhere in the world. With Bimini, we can change the way the world works in a way that will let us live healthy, productive, and happy lives in the future. This is the future of work, where we can easily work anywhere in the world without having to move. Ameka, $133,000. Ameka, an AI-powered humanoid robot, has just joined the human staff at the Museum of the Future in Dubai, where it will not only greet you, but also talk to you. The humanoid robot made by Engineered Arts is said to be the most advanced in the world. This shows how Dubai wants to be at the forefront of technology. Ameka has a human-like face and body, and she can make a lot of different facial expressions. This makes her a great customer service robot. They can talk to people who come to the museum's Today Tomorrow exhibit, from greeting them to answering their questions and showing them where to go. Contributing to solving social and environmental problems makes this more and more possible. Over 50 exhibits, including prototypes and current products, focus on five areas, waste management, the environment, food, security, agriculture, and city planning. Toyota THR3, $3 million. Toyota introduced it in 2017 as a humanoid robot that can move in a way that mimics the actions of a human operator who's far away. It can also use force feedback to show the operator how much force the robot is putting on or putting on it. At first glance, it seems quite capable with good balance and coordination. And Toyota has chosen to handle autonomy by keeping a human in the loop through a sophisticated, immersive, master maneuvering system. Toyota also worked hard to make a new torque sensing and actuation system so that its robotics can work safely around people. Everyone is excited for these things to come out in 2023. Geminoid F, worth around $110,000. Geminoid F is a copy of a young Japanese woman made out of an android. It's meant to be controlled from a distance, and it can smile, frown, and change facial expressions to act like the operator. The Geminoid F has 12 pneumatic actuators that pump air through small valves in her eyes, face, lips, neck, and torso. The Geminoid F looks like it has lifelike expressions because of these actuators. She blinks, moves, and smiles in a way that's almost human. Geminoid F can be set up to do a simple routine, or it can be controlled from a distance via telepresence. The person in charge of Geminoid F sits in front of a webcam, which records their movements, speech, and facial expressions. 
This information is then turned into commands for the robot, which are then sent out over the internet. The Geminoid F was made so that it could go to science museums, labs, and demonstrations all over the world. She's made people happy by singing songs and acting in the first play ever. Junko Chihara, $93,000. Toshiba made Junko Chihara a genoid robot from Japan. It was made with the help of the technology of Hiroshi Ishiguro. The robot, Junko, was shown off in October 2015. It's also called the trilingual android because it can talk in three different languages, Japanese, Chinese, and English. Besides that, the robot can use sign language to talk. It's a better version of Aiko Chihira, her younger sister. Junko, which looks like a 26-year-old woman, has a newer version of machine control. It has great interactivity, realistic facial expressions, and speech commands that are already written. The robot has a number of features such as speech synthesis and natural language processing. It can answer random and multiple choice questions from tourists and people who live there. It's coming out in 2023. Atlas, $1 million. Atlas is a two-legged humanoid robot that was mostly made by an American company called Boston Dynamics. The robot was shown to the public for the first time on July 11, 2013. It can do many different kinds of search and rescue work. Atlas was made to help search and rescue teams do their job by doing things like closing valves, opening doors, and using powered equipment in dangerous places where people might be harmed. The Department of Defense said in 2013 that it had no plans to use the robot for either offensive or defensive warfare. Atlas can do any one of these eight things. 1. On the job site, use a utility vehicle. 2. Walk on the ground across the rubble. 3. Get rid of anything in the way of an entrance. 4. Open a door to get into a building. 5. Climb an industrial ladder and walkway and move along it. 6. Use a tool to pierce a concrete panel. 7. Find and close a valve near a pipe that's leaking. And number 8. Open a valve and connect a fire hose to a standpipe. This robot is very useful because it can do all of these things. Anyone would want Atlas to work for them, of course. Erica, $110,000. When it comes to robot friends, Japan is the place to be. Asian researchers are some of the leaders in the search for humanoids, and in Japan, robots are looked up to as gods. The humanoid robot can tell when you're laughing, decide if it should laugh back, and either chuckle or giggle in response. You decide to go see your grandmother who lives alone on the weekend. When you get there, you see that she's talking to someone else, and you can hear them laughing through the door. You don't think much of it until you walk in and see that the guest sitting across from your grandmother at the table is a humanoid robot laughing at her joke. This is exactly what the scientists want to do by building Erica. Erica will be a friend and a companion to many people who are alone. Pepper, worth $1,800. Pepper is a robot made by SoftBank Robotics that has some human features and can read emotions. Pepper is used as a receptionist in several offices in the UK right now. It can recognize visitors by their faces, send alerts to meeting planners, and order drinks. Pepper can talk to possible customers on her own. The first Pepper receptionist to work in the UK was sent to Brain Labs in London by a SoftBank distributor. Thanks to apps made by Seikatsu Kakume, the robot has also been used in banks and hospitals in Japan. It is also used in all Hamazushi restaurants in Japan. That's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment down your favorite robot, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.